What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video of mine. So, Super Mario Party just came out for the Switch, and boy, is it fun. I've actually grown up with Mario Party DS, so I'm glad to see this franchise finally go back to its roots with new game modes added on to make playtime a lot longer than I thought it would be. As a matter of fact, I've just unlocked a new game mode called Challenge Road. Instead of walking around a board like usual, this mode allows you to traverse 6 worlds 2D Mario style with each level being its own minigame challenge. It sounds fairly simple on paper, but the challenges can actually get pretty tough towards the end. But... The difficulty isn't the only thing I've noticed about this mode. I've noticed something more, something deeper. Perhaps you've noticed it too. I'm not sure if the developers put this in intentionally or if I'm just overthinking it. But whatever it is, it has me excited for what's to come for the future of the Switch. First of all though, I have to point out that the areas of this mode will be spoiled, so if you don't want that, please don't say I didn't warn you. Okay? Good. For those who have played, you'll know that you traverse a town, a forest, then a beach. Go through <laughs> All of these areas are significant, but the one that stood out to me the most was the forest. I mean, just look at the ground. The trees. Even the apples in this area all look extremely familiar to those found in the Animal Crossing series. Perhaps I'm missing something, but the triangles on the ground sure look similar to the pattern found in the Animal Crossing grass. And just look at those apples. One could say they're Yoshi's berries instead of the AC apples. They both bear a lot of similarity. But the berries grow on bushes. And these are in trees. So they have to be apples. I mean, the yellow bottom just proves they're from Animal Crossing. Just... Look at that high-res apple. Look at it. So what could this mean for the future of the Switch? Is Nintendo hinting at what the next Animal Crossing game could possibly look like? Well, if that's the case, I would just... Uh, but I would like to take it a step further. What if these are the next settings for the new Animal Crossing? Is that even possible? Well, yeah, it's quite a stretch. But I haven't even started yet. Now, the beach. At first glance, it's just a regular beach. But did you notice the gigantic walls at the start and end of the area? Not to mention the dock towards the end where Cap'n could reside. Does this prove that this is a beach from Animal Crossing? No, I'm probably looking way too much into this. But if it is, this could mean big things for Animal Crossing Switch. Before any of that, I need to tell you about the town quickly. Right from the start, we can already see some head turners here. Like I said, this is just speculation, but the town looks like a bigger version of the town from City Folk or Let's Go to the City. Also, real quick, I need to mention that the other three areas are just the same settings, but at different times. Other than that, I don't really see much else to cover here. Oh, look! It's Big Ben! But, but as a super bad. So, that's all to see for Challenge Road. Uh, what does this mean for Animal Crossing Switch? First of all, this means the game will most likely look this good or even better. For the first time in a main series game, we could get proper dynamic shading, much like in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This could be groundbreaking. Not only that, but clean and detailed textures could be implemented, which would be a dream come true for me. Take a journey with me, as I put a picture in your head. Imagine walking out of your house, hearing the wind rustle the leaves and waves crashing upon the sand, all as you are bombarded with the clear bright skies and deep cool shade. And then you realize you're 500,000 bells in debt. My point is, this game could look great. But what else could Champion Road tell us? Well, we might see a bigger world. With the power of the Switch, the possibilities are endless. Imagine a bigger town with bigger stores, bigger streets, gangs to cover those streets. You better give me all the damn fish in your pockets or I'll use you as fish bait, scrub. <clears throat> okay, maybe not that last one, but I could totally see something bigger or more lively. Hell, we could even get some spin-off games in this town. It's not like Tom Nook's desk and layout from the Animal Crossing Switch reveal trailer is literally the same from Happy Home Designer except for the lamp, the Switch, and a few moving boxes indicating that he moved to a new office. But that would be crazy, right? I mean, there's no way they would be... Oh. Mushroom Beach could possibly signify that it would be a real beach this time instead of the one that literally no animal except for Gulliver visits. How neat would that be? 
If that was the case, we could have a lot more space in the main area for houses, trees, fruit, and public works projects if that's still a thing. To be honest, I prefer the shore at the end of the town because it adds a more lakeside style to it all, but change can be good. So what about that main area? Or the forest? Mushroom Forest has a lot of trees, no duh, with a big dirt circle in the center of the hub world icon. This probably is just a design choice, but I like to look at things way too closely to the point where it doesn't even make sense. So to me it looks like... A camping spot? Wait, that couldn't be... Could it? Animal Crossing Pocket Camp was released on October 25th of 2017. Something to note about this game is that each area such as the campsite, river, and beach are all in different areas. This is most likely for faster loading times, but it ironically fits into this world challenge road gives from Mario Party. I hate to say it, but the chances of the next Animal Crossing game being an updated version of Pocket Camp are very much there. But Max! I hear you saying. But, but, Tom Nook said that he'll get homes set up for everyone when they're done smashing and camping. And you're fully right. Remember that this is all just a discussion, and I personally don't believe that the next game will be like Pocket Camp. Nintendo knows better not to focus the majority of their work on mobile titles, especially with Iwata's Legacy. All in all, the next Animal Crossing will be great regardless of what we get. If it's a happy home hybrid, a new leaf port, or even a bigger Pocket Camp, I know it's going to take up way too much of my time. I've only started playing Animal Crossing last year with New Leaf, but it's become such a staple in my life, always being there when I need it the most. But what do you guys think this game will look like? Am I brutally wrong and deserve the almighty YouTube comment telling me how much of a loser I am and that I'm stupid for making this video? Let me know. I would love to see your take on this. Anyways, that's enough of me. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.